guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've been invited to Mattel's Design Center in LA, which is where I am right now. I can't actually believe that we're here, but this opportunity came up and they've invited us to see the Toy Story 4 toys be unboxed. They're brand new and we're gonna be taken on a day which shows us the whole process of toy making at Mattel. So it's gonna show us right from the design to packaging and show us everything in between. And we're also gonna get a behind the scenes look of the new Toy Story 4 movie, which I'm so excited about. We love Toy Story. And we're also, yeah, gonna be able to see the whole new product line of toys. So I'm gonna take you with us on this day. presentation with Pixar and Mattel. We got to learn all about how they make the movies and the toys as well. They told us about how they design them and there's actually so much that goes into it. They said that making a movie can take from four to seven years and making a toy can take like 18 months. So, so interesting. Now we've come outside for some lunch and games as well. And on our table was Toy Story Uno. So we're gonna have a little play of that right now. Fraser's got it. <laughs> So we are in the Jesse group and we're going off to do different little workshops and the first one I'm so excited about we're doing a sound lab So we're almost like gonna have a go at doing a voice. I think we just had our voiceover session and oh my goodness It is harder than it looks. We got to go in the studio with the professionals and learn how I was Bo Peep Fraser was Woody Daddy was one of the new characters and Caleb and Jackson were just shouting. <laughs> so in Toy Story 4, there is a new character called Forky. He's basically a spork that has been made into a character by the little girl in the film, Bonnie. And they've created a toy where the boys can actually make it for themselves as well. So we're gonna have a go now. And they're actually making them with one of the toy designers from Mattel. So, oh. This is Fraser's one so far. <laughs> it's such a good activity. I've never known the boys to be so quiet. They just sat there making their little forkies and it was really, really cute. So now we're on to the next activity. With a toy or several. Once the toys are developed, it's time for the packaging team to brainstorm. Working with illustrators and designers, crafting the visual language of the product. Really zoom in on those key moments from the movie because the RV was such a big part of this uh Oh, you see the Forky. Okay, so we just learned all about the packaging process and it was so interesting. They go literally from like designs like this and then they improve them 
then they add the color and the pictures and the sketching and then finally the toys now we're off to have a guided tour of Mattel and first stop is the world of Barbie and we're going to be able to check out the Toy Story Barbie as well and how they made her. send me colors for her bodysuit, for her hair color, her eye color. So we work with really close to the animators because we really want to make sure that the doll matches what's in the movie. This is the original doll from 1984 called Great Shape Barbie. This is what the Disney Pixar chose to use as their inspiration for their doll. This is from our archive. As you can see, she's pretty close to Toy Story Barbie. And then we make the pattern and then we sew it up, we test it to see how it's gonna fit. So we made it up in white. And then we make it up in the correct colors and we make sure that it's looking good. I get to pick from this big book of plastic pieces, so we want her sneakers to be pink. Hey everybody, my name is Bobby. Uh, there's a couple of us that, that run our, our 3D printers here at Mattel. Right, so we just saw some amazing 3D printing, like literally machines that can print out a toy with resin. It's incredible. And I don't think I fully appreciated how much work goes into creating toys. It can take such a lot of time and when they actually make a toy prototype, they will make it by hand first off with like any materials that they can get their hands on. Now we're off to the rest of the tour and we're going to see more about Hot Wheels. Where are you going, mate? Story 4 toys have just been revealed, so we are going to have the first look, some of the very first people to ever see the range. And they're adorable, Fraser. No, 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 they're allowed to see them. <laughs> they're so cute, aren't they? Um, over three. You like Forky the best? They're also new, aren't they? Bunny and Ducky and Forky. They're the main like new guys, aren't they? He must be new as well, because we don't know who this is. Oh, I think he's Canadian. He's Canadian! Yeah, we like him. Jackson, is that your favorite one? Is it Buzz? <laughs> he really loves him. I don't think he's going to want to put it down.
So we're back at our hotel now and we had such an amazing day at Mattel learning about the Toy Story 4 toys and the film as well. We are huge Toy Story fans anyway, but being able to see the trailer and the toys today have just got us really excited to see the new film and the toys looked amazing and we had just no idea how much goes into toy creation. Like there is just so much research and development and thought and approval that goes on behind the scenes just to get like the toys to the shelves. So it was really interesting and the new range looks incredible. The boys really loved the look of the new little collectibles line. They also all fell in love with the new character Forky and so did I. He's so cute and quirky and I think everyone's just gonna totally love him. But all of them looked incredible. I will of course put all the links in the description down below for the toys. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, the links will be there. And yeah, thank you so much for having me, Mattel and Disney. It was an incredible opportunity and I feel so lucky to have been invited to the event because you sure know how to throw an event. Um, but now we're home and the boys are pretty tired. So we're going to get them to have a bath and put them to bed. But before we go to bed, what we've got into the habit of doing is watching the sunset from our hotel room. We have a beautiful view. We're staying at a hotel which is on a marine so we can watch the sunset at night and most nights we can also spot little sea lions um, yeah like seals in the water in front of our hotel so that's really cool as well if we spot some tonight I will insert some footage here um, but if not thank you so much for watching I hope you found it really interesting as well and I'll see you in my next one bye guys we haven't spotted any seals yet, but we have spotted this bird, which is fishing right here. Can you see in the distance? Look, he's coming, look. Can you see it coming? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Mummy, there's a seal. Now look. There is three of them. Oh my God. <laughs> Jackson just says shut up. Why are you boys teaching him? I'm home now and I'm just editing this vlog and I thought I would pop on here and say that the toys are actually available now on sale so I'll put all the links down below I forgot to mention that and I am also doing another video of us reviewing the toys at home so look forward to that 